Hey, I'm Rob. We're gonna look at some piston horns. This is my Holton piston horn, circa 1934. It's made of brass that has been silver plated. Most of the silver plate is intact, with the exception of inside the bell, but that's pretty typical because your hand wears it out. This horn is a single horn. There's only three valves. And for those that don't play the horn, you're probably thinking, wait, those don't look like regular valves. You are correct. When you depress a rotary valve, the rotor turns. You can see the stop arm there rotating. On a piston valve, however, when you go to press it, it goes up and down. It doesn't rotate. You'll see these valves mostly on trumpets, some tubas, euphoniums, cornets, and flugelhorns. Despite the horn having valves, it has a long tuning slide, so you can actually change the key of the instrument. This is pretty typical of instruments of this age. Valve layout is like your typical French horn, or any brass instrument really. First valve is a whole step, second valve is a half step, third valve is a minor third, or a step and a half. On the bell, you can see engraved Holton USQMC. This is the US Quarter Master Corpse. As I said, the horn was made in 1934, which is right in the middle of the Great Depression. This thing is built like a tank. It has so much material left, it's incredible. For 80-something years old, I'm just shocked. Especially in the middle of the Great Depression, when you think companies would skimp out on materials to try and cut costs, this thing is... This was built to last, and it really shows. Let's take a listen. Some final thoughts, the horn has such a beautiful, rich, dark sound. It reminds me of the Con 8D. It's definitely a fun horn to play, I really enjoy it. This horn is accurate, it's got a nice sound, it can play all kinds of dynamics. If you're looking for a good practice horn or something like that to do just single F stuff on, this horn is very good for that kind of stuff. I hope you liked the video, like and subscribe, see you next week.